All right, here's a quick video about my electrical setup. So I have three 110 amp hour batteries that are charged by solar panels all along the length of the boat. Uh, at peak performance, the solar panels are about 600 watts uh, charging those batteries. Uh, these two red switches here are what uh, controls which battery I use. I'm using right now. I'm running off battery one. Uh, I can select any combination of batteries, uh, and then I got three battery monitor gauges that shows the state of each battery individually, which is real nice. And then I got my main circuit breaker panels here. Uh, I got a single circuit breaker there for the uh, autopilot because it has a higher amperage breaker in there. Uh, these three here are my dimmer switches for the LED lights. Got my main chart plotter and my autopilot control head there. I got my Iridium Go and then I have my autopilot remote control uh, that I can use while I'm out there. And then outside I got two more gauges, uh, one on each side. That one is the same autopilot control head and this one is the uh, instrument which reads all the uh, wind, barometric pressure, temperature, all that stuff. See, I got, uh, this is a Ford cabin lights inside of here, cockpit lights in the rowing area. I got uh, compartment lights in the aft cabin I can turn on, and those, all three are controlled by these three. I got the tricolor light I can turn on, anchor light, compass light, and that's for that compass right out there. I got uh, a blank spot, an empty open spot. I got panel lights, which turns on a backlight for this whole setup. I got instruments, which turns on uh, these guys and those two small ones out there. Got chart plotter, which turns on this thing here. I got AIS uh, switch there. And I got 12 volt DC outlets that's on right now, which powers those four ports. I got, uh, these are dual USB on the bottom and then cigarette lighter type ports on the top. And then I have a fan and fan two, which runs the ventilation fans. And uh, that's a motor inside of here that sucks air from outside so this iridium go is pretty nice it has got a an antenna that's on the outside of the boat so i can get a good signal while i'm inside of the boat that's really nice and i also have this guy right here which is my garmin in reach that actually works inside of the cabin fairly well not as good as the uh, external antenna but it still does the job so yeah that is the electrical setup if you got any questions let me know see you